This is for the people that say I don't show men getting stalked. This gentleman claims the woman in this footage had been following him for over a week. Whatever machine he uses, she's always there. There's no question men can indeed be victims of stalking too, and it's something we should all be more aware of. A woman was grocery shopping before noticing a creepy man was following her. He was in every aisle she was, and even followed her to the checkout. She took the proper precautions, including reaching out to and video chatting with ADT, should anything happen to her. There was no harm done to her, but who knows what the man's intentions were. They couldn't have been good. A woman was shopping at Barnes & Noble before realizing a creepy man had been following her. When she noticed, she confronted him, and this happened. Hi. Are you following me? No. My bad. Yeah. The man was crouched down and denied it, playing it off by quickly opening a book, pretending to read it. There were other inappropriate things he did I cannot reveal due to YouTube's guidelines, but what I can say is, this man is a weirdo. Many of us leave our homes without expecting our day to take a terrifying turn in a matter of seconds. However, the world we live in can be wild and unpredictable, and sometimes that's exactly what happens. In the following story, we recount an incident captured by surveillance cameras involving a woman who had been seen running frantically. This naturally raised questions about what had instilled such fear in her and why she was fleeing so urgently. As it turns out, she was running away from an abductor. Another surveillance camera captured the abductor as he prowled around before stealthily approaching the unsuspecting woman from behind and grabbing her unexpectedly. The woman fought valiantly to call for help as best she could. Fortunately, a bystander nearby noticed the unfolding danger and rushed to the woman's aid, causing the assailant to flee the scene on his bicycle. Thankfully, the woman escaped physical harm, but the incident serves as a chilling reminder of the need for vigilance and the importance of looking out for one another. We can only hope that such a disturbing event doesn't recur in the future. This video, uploaded to YouTube on July 26th of 2016 by a concerned user, clearly depicts his apprehension about an ongoing situation outside his home. In the footage, his front yard initially seems perfectly ordinary. However, the reason for his anxiety becomes evident within moments. A white truck is conspicuously parked in front of the YouTuber's residence, and inside it sits his ex-girlfriend, who appears to be monitoring his activities closely. Throughout the video, she can be seen observing him as he stands inside his home, occasionally peering out the window to gauge her intentions. At one juncture in the video, it seems as though she's realized she's being recorded. In response, she promptly reverses the truck and parks it a bit further away. Unbeknownst to her though, the man continues to record her actions. She then leans out the window, visibly frustrated by being filmed. She remains in the vehicle for a few more moments before the video abruptly concludes. The situation depicted in this video undeniably suggests that this man is enduring persistent stalking from his ex-girlfriend, who shows no signs of relenting. We can only hope that he eventually finds the peace he deserves and that his ex will ultimately choose to move on and leave him be. Sometimes, while driving, you might encounter an exceptionally irate driver who attempts to provoke a confrontation. This phenomenon is commonly referred to as road rage and is fairly frequent. However, it usually doesn't escalate into a stalking situation. This is precisely what transpired in the case of a man named Connor who recorded the subsequent video and shared it on YouTube. In Connor's video, he can be seen driving when another driver directs his road rage towards him. Initially, this aggressive driver blocks Connor's path and engages in a heated exchange with him, refusing to let Connor continue his journey. Connor can be heard shouting at the man to move his vehicle so he can proceed to work. Initially, it appears that the situation might be resolved when the road rager reluctantly complies to Connor's requests. 
However, as Connor continues his commute to work, he realizes that this driver is actually tailgating him all the way to his workplace. This unsettling turn of events leaves Connor both frustrated and fearful. After parking his vehicle and heading towards work, a verbal confrontation erupts between the two men in a heated moment. The road rager eventually exits his car, seemingly contemplating taking action against Connor before reconsidering his course of action. Connor proceeds to enter his workplace unharmed. However, had Connor chosen to handle the situation differently, the outcome of this confrontation could have been far more distressing and uncertain. Dustin, an Uber driver, has a YouTube channel where he shares captivating videos captured during his shifts. While some of the videos are undeniably humorous, the story we're about to delve into takes a chilling turn. During one of his rides, Dustin picks up a passenger who is being pursued by a disturbing and unsettling man. Sorry, ma'am. Hey, back off, man! Back off! Upon entering Dustin's vehicle, it quickly becomes evident that the woman is in a state of extreme distress, her emotions pouring out as she begins to sob in the back seat. In this moment, Dustin steps into the role of a compassionate driver, doing his utmost to provide comfort and reassurance to the distressed passenger. He assures her that he takes her safety seriously and emphasizes that it's his duty to protect her during the ride. I'm here not to just give you a ride, but to make sure that you're safe. As the journey continues, the woman gradually begins to feel a bit more at ease, understanding that she is now sheltered within the confines of Dustin's Uber. With unwavering determination, Dustin drives her to a secure location far from the menacing presence of her stalker. For this woman, Dustin unquestionably emerges as a hero, and this incident will forever remain etched in her memory as the moment when a random Uber driver came to her rescue and ensured her safety. Not everyone is fortunate enough to escape unscathed or evade danger. A woman in this particular incident found herself pursued relentlessly climbing six flights of stairs as a man trailed her in her building and forcibly entered her apartment. When the police eventually arrived, the man apparently used a woman's voice to mask the victim's cry for help. Regrettably, this woman did not emerge from the confrontation unharmed, as one might hope. However, law enforcement did eventually apprehend the individual responsible, who turned out to be a nearby homeless individual whose behavior had become increasingly dangerous over time. Whether this woman was aware of the man following her or realized it too late, it remains a tragic and distressing situation. It serves as a stark reminder to always stay vigilant and aware of your surroundings. Taking a moment to glance over your shoulder before entering a building or finding a way to shake off someone who may be following you, whether intentionally or not, can be a critical step to ensuring your safety. Indeed, it's crucial to be cautious about the individuals who might be lurking around, especially during the late hours of the night. It's wise to keep your doors locked to ensure your safety. But how can you tell if you're being followed? In one chilling incident captured on CCTV, a man not only identified a home with unlocked doors, but also managed to approach it under the cover of night. The woman residing there reported that the man surreptitiously gained access to her house and then proceeded to inappropriately grab her. Fortunately, he was easily startled and her scream frightened him off before he could inflict further harm. The woman wasted no time in reporting the incident to authorities. However, despite her prompt action, the man managed to escape without facing any immediate consequences. This serves as a stark reminder of the importance of remaining vigilant and taking precautions to protect your safety, especially in the late hours when potential dangers may be lurking. The video opens with what appears to be a typical suburban morning, no apparent issues in sight. Suddenly, from the back of the frame, a woman comes into view, vigorously thrusting a pickaxe into the front door of an unsuspecting house. At this angle, her features remain indistinct, but she proceeds with a second strike. 
The force of the pickaxe is enough to shatter the window's glass, and from inside the house, a harrowing scream pierces the air. Apparently satisfied, the attacker, a woman in a skirt, abruptly departs the scene. However, her destructive rampage doesn't end there. She returns, smashing more windows and causing profound terror to the home's occupants. Among them, a 65-year-old woman who was babysitting a six-week-old newborn, making the situation all the more distressing. My mother-in-law, first instinct was to grab the baby. Two seconds later, all you see is huge shards of glass in the bassinet where she would be. This disturbing incident persists for a few more minutes before the assailant eventually departs. If you hadn't witnessed the attacks on the home, you might have entirely missed it. Once the woman leaves, all visible signs from the road suggest that she was never there in the first place, leaving behind only the haunting memory of her destructive actions. It seems that one potential solution to being followed home is to partner up and walk in groups, but it's disheartening to think that such precautions have to become necessary. Watch as a woman in a long gray coat navigates the street, only to have a man follow closely behind her moments later. In the following frame, a bone-chilling video reveals its unsettling details. The man trails the woman, staying barely 10 steps behind her. Whenever she slows her pace, he matches it, even bending down to seemingly tie his shoelaces. It becomes evident that he realizes his initial plan is unraveling, so he resorts to a desperate improvisation. In a calculated move, he calls out to the woman, attempting to grab her attention by claiming she dropped a $5 bill. It's evident how close to danger she is. The story takes another unsettling turn, though. The man, assumed to be the aggressor, is believed to have made his getaway in a white SUV, which subsequently drove off. According to the victim's account, this vehicle circled her home approximately four times, slowing down with each pass. This recurring presence only adds to the distressing nature of the situation, leaving the victim understandably fearful and on edge. As the camera zooms in, his initial image becomes more defined. One might mistake him for an ordinary man, just another individual going about his daily affairs. However, Beneath that seemingly innocuous facade lies a malevolent force. It definitely helps you like become well aware of your surroundings though. Like that's how a lot of things have to be because you just never know. Very scary because now it's like if I go out and I'm always looking over my shoulder to see if you know somebody's following me or anything. In the initial video where he was wearing a distinctive green top, he can be seen shadowing a woman around Echo Park Lake, persistently trailing her as she journeyed towards her home. I don't know how to feel about that. I really hope she's okay, though. What's particularly alarming is how nonchalantly he strolls behind her. The woman was merely taking her dog for a walk, engaging in an everyday activity. However, in the process of this mundane task, she inadvertently placed herself on the radar for this menacing individual, highlighting the unsettling reality that danger can sometimes lurk even in the most ordinary moments of our lives. Even when security cameras are installed in your building, these predators seem unconcerned about who might witness their disturbing actions. It may indeed be time to exercise caution and consider staying indoors, especially as the sun sets and darkness blankets the horizon. In this unsettling incident, a malevolent man follows a woman home during the late hours, between 11 p.m. and 12 a.m. Watch as he navigates the surroundings without displaying any signs of nervousness or concern, brazenly entering the building's hallway, seemingly unfazed by the security cameras observing his every move. He continues with the same calm demeanor as he trails the woman, who is ascending the stairs. Can you predict what unfolds next? Fortunately, the woman emerges unharmed, and her safety is the paramount outcome in this disconcerting scenario. We've acknowledged that countless monsters exist out there, but sometimes these monsters halt at our doorsteps, 
unable to breach the threshold. Unfortunately, this was not the case for a 20-year-old woman in Stillwater. She discovered that a monster had come dangerously close for comfort. Listen to the chilling 911 call as the woman urgently reports the imminent danger to her life. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We're on the way. Just hurry? stay on the line with me, okay? Please. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. This distressing call paints a vivid picture of the terrifying situation she found herself in and the desperate measures she took to seek help and ensure her safety. The palpable fear and sheer terror in her voice are unmistakable as she desperately whispers, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. The unthinkable occurs as the intruder forcefully rushes in, leaving her with no choice but to flee and seek refuge in her garage, all while frantically dialing the police for help. I'm Officer Hell. Yeah, Officer Hell. The intensity of this terrifying situation is harrowing, underscoring the profound and immediate danger she faced. The one positive from this chilling video is the intruder was arrested and hopefully won't do this again. This is not this stalker's first rodeo. The first instance when he followed a woman, pretending to apologize and then attempting to abduct her in a car is truly alarming. Thankfully, the woman's fierce resistance and quick thinking saved her from harm as she fought back using her keys and even biting her attacker, allowing her to escape the danger. However, it's deeply concerning to see the same individual is now following another woman, as shown in the video. He strolls along the road, seemingly aimlessly, dressed in all black. His clothing might appear white and black in some frames due to the video quality. The repeated predatory behavior of this individual is indeed disturbing and it's essential that law enforcement take appropriate action to ensure the safety of potential victims. The hope is that he faces more severe consequences than just a bite in the future and that steps are taken to prevent further harm. When you find yourself being pursued by an unsettling individual on your way home, the natural course of action is to contact the police. However, what should you do when the individuals causing discomfort happen to be law enforcement themselves? This was precisely the dilemma faced by an Edmonton resident, and she did indeed call the cops. The first one, I thought maybe it was just because she didn't want me to see her there. Then when they walked around the house and started doing the other cameras, I thought, this is it for me. Um, I might not make it out. When there was a knock at the door, she cautiously approached and noticed police officers outside. However, something about the situation didn't seem right, causing her to hesitate. She observed the police intentionally turning her security cameras away from her property. In response to this suspicious behavior, she promptly dialed 911 to report the police to the police, a situation that seems highly unusual. To her astonishment, one of the officers even attempted to forcefully kick down her back door interfering with private property which is the crime of mischief to private property and they're obviously trying to make sure that there's no independent audio video record of the of, of what they're doing and that's obstruction of justice has something like this ever happened to you i'm in awe that two cops tried to destroy a camera on private property what were their intentions let me know what you think it's a common belief that most stalkers operate under the cover of darkness, and the stories, videos, and news reports we encounter often compel us to plan our lives to avoid being out late at night. However, this video challenges that assumption. Observe the woman as she goes about her day, and notice the man dressed in black, his hands concealed in his pockets, closely trailing behind her. Pay attention to the moment when she abruptly stops and changes direction. What's striking is how the stalker halts, frozen like a deer caught in headlights, only to resume following her as if nothing happened. This situation is incredibly unsettling, especially when you consider that it's unfolding in broad daylight with other people around. The audacity and persistence of the stalker in such a public setting is indeed disturbing. Unlike many of the stalkers we've previously discussed, this individual came prepared with a knife, 
His intentions were evidently violent, and according to the reports, he relentlessly followed a woman on the Lower East Side. In a brazen move, he forced his way into her apartment and proceeded to pilfer her phone along with a few other valuable items. In the video, we witness him casually wandering around, selecting his phone and pausing to gaze intently at the screen. His demeanor and actions leave little doubt that he is harboring malicious intentions and his presence is deeply unsettling. When people mention that danger can unexpectedly appear around any corner, they are referring to situations like this. The sheer randomness of these events can be profoundly disheartening. However, upon closer examination, there might be more to these incidents than initially meets the eye. Observe how this man is intentionally walking in a completely different direction, but then changes his course to follow the woman across the road. Did he have prior intentions of targeting her, or is this encounter as random as it seems? It's worth contemplating further. The unsettling reality is that someone you've never encountered before can pose a threat simply because your paths cross at the worst possible moment. We can only hope for the safety of the woman in this video, even though the circumstances portrayed suggest otherwise. When this man left his home and diligently locked his doors, he had no inkling that he would encounter any trouble on his leisurely stroll on a cool evening. If you closely examine the upper part of this video, you'll notice two men tailing him almost immediately after he left his home. It's truly disconcerting to reflect on how easily and blatantly these stalkers conduct their nefarious activities. They move with impunity, making no earnest effort to conceal their actions. They simply walk closely behind their victims without maintaining any reasonable distance. In this case, the man wasn't followed by just one individual. He had two stalkers. This suggests a level of premeditation, as one could potentially be dismissed as a momentary decision, but two makes it undoubtedly orchestrated. It's disheartening to think that these individuals conspired to stalk this man. We can only hope that they will fail in whatever their intentions may be. However, as you aptly put it, hope can sometimes feel fragile, like a candle in the wind easily extinguished. Nonetheless, it's essential to remain vigilant and report suspicious activities to law enforcement to ensure one's safety. Now, let's envision this scenario. You're strolling down a bustling street in downtown Orlando, going about your own business, when an eerie sensation creeps over you, like someone's eyes are fixed on you. You glance around, but there's no one in sight. You continue walking, but that unsettling feeling refuses to dissipate. Before you realize it, you're being trailed, closely followed, just as it happened to one unfortunate woman. It's terrifying, you know, as a woman, we always try to be as safe as we can, and you just never know what to expect. As she was simply going about her day, an unsettling ordeal unfolded for this woman. A stalker began to trail her, always maintaining a certain distance, but never allowing her to slip out of his view. This unwelcome pursuit began early in the morning, and the video captures her efforts to evade him as she hastened her pace. However, he persists in his pursuit. Eventually, she reaches her apartment building, likely thinking she's found safety. To her dismay, the stalker proceeds to follow her right inside the building. The suspect's demeanor remains eerily calm as he walks behind the woman, seemingly unhurried. Inside the building, the situation takes a terrifying turn as the stalker launches an attack on the woman, ultimately stealing money from her wallet. Crazy that, you know, somebody's going home or going to and from a place and, you know, they're being followed by somebody who don't want to, you know, who they don't, they don't know or don't want to be around. This distressing incident serves as a stark reminder of the importance of staying vigilant and taking steps to protect one's personal safety. Indeed, while she was fortunate to escape with only minor injuries, this harrowing experience left her feeling violated and consumed by fear. It's a common misconception that once you're inside the sanctuary of your own home, you are automatically out of harm's way. However, as this story poignantly illustrates, it's imperative to remain vigilant 
stay aware of your surroundings and be on the lookout for potential threats, even in seemingly secure environments. Personal safety should never be taken for granted, and precautions should be taken both indoors and outdoors to mitigate risks. You're not even safe from stalking when simply shopping for groceries. The woman recording believes she's being racially profiled by the man and claims she deals with this at least five times a day. The last thing anyone wants while heading home is to have a gun pointed at them. In this particular instance, two men seemingly returning from the gym had no inkling of the peril awaiting them as they approached their doorstep. Suddenly, two robbers emerged from their car and forcibly entered the residence, catching the unsuspecting victims off guard. The man inside the house promptly complied with the intruders, swiftly relinquishing their belongings. It's generally advisable to cooperate in such situations to prevent any further escalation of violence. In the end, these men managed to emerge from the ordeal physically unharmed, albeit with fewer possessions. Considering the circumstances, their situation could have taken a far more dire turn had tensions escalated. It's often difficult to predict the impact one's actions can have on others, especially in public spaces. In a distressing incident, a man followed a woman home due to a perceived slight that occurred when they separately crossed paths at a grocery store. Tragically, this perceived offense led to an extreme reaction. The man followed the woman to her residence and, in a shocking turn of events, shot at her. Fortunately, the shot only grazed her, causing minimal harm. However, her brother was also struck by gunfire and had to be hospitalized. In the aftermath of this bizarre and violent outburst, the man managed to flee the scene, realizing the grave consequences of his actions. Why would someone, do you think, get so mad over something so small? I have no idea. <laughs> you know, people just time bombs, you know, for little stuff, dumb stuff. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the unpredictable and potentially dangerous consequences of reacting to perceived slights with violence. Thanks for watching. Stay vigilant, friends.